All right, and we're back. Rich Casanova alongside Dwayne Hart. And if you tuned in to the previous episode, it was Mastering the Cybersecurity Mindset Part 1. This is Part 2. And our title we're going to be talking today, amongst many other topics, will be Maturing Cybersecurity for Your Enterprise. Uh, Dwayne, welcome to the show. And what's on, what's on your mind today? Well, what's on my mind is that there's a lot of organizations that are falling behind in that cybersecurity curve. So, so I go back to my recent publication, The Cybersecurity Mindset, and thinking about when I wrote the publication, I knew that one of the areas that had to be focused upon was to help guide readers so that they can understand that cybersecurity maturity has value in itself because a lot of times organizations think because they have not been hacked that they're safe. But, you know, let's just be honest because a lot of times with the world of cybersecurity, you can, you can have different threats and you can have different, uh, different vulnerabilities in your enterprise that serve as blind spots and you may not know how vulnerable you are. But the idea is that you want to be proactive because you don't want to wait until something happens and then to react because it may be detrimental and it may be destructive. And also, too, it could disturb your operations and it and also it could hurt your customer base. And uh, we don't want that to happen. Absolutely. And uh, speaking of maturity or maturity this guy, Dwayne Hart, is very mature in the area of cybersecurity. Uh, so let me do uh, a a better job of introducing the guy at the table right here. Not only is he the chief of cybersecurity, and he's an author, Forbes contributor, speaker, podcaster. All that content and more, including this discussion, can be found on DwayneHart.com. Okay, so Dwayne, so this is a, this is a great one here. Um, so... You're talking about, we talked about in the previous episode, about every type of organization, no matter how small or big, um, strives for maturity. Talk to us a little bit about that, that, that journey. Well, what a journey for any type of organization is that, you, that if you want to mature, that you have to understand your current state of readiness. Yeah, right. Where you're at, yeah. Right. Where, where are you current, presently in this cybersecurity space? Okay. And secondly is, what are you doing to protect your enterprise. And then uh, thirdly is how vulnerable you are. Do you even know how vulnerable you are? Because those factors make a difference in how you need to mature your enterprise. Because yeah. every enterprise has problems. And yeah. every enterprise need and need to mature because hackers, risk, and threats are always active. Yep. You know, I had a conversation. Yeah, they don't take the day off. Hackers don't take the day off. No, right? no they, they don't. They don't take vacations. Yeah. <laughs> no. No, I had a conversation with someone about a couple of weeks ago, and, and you know, the question they asked was, how do we fix cybersecurity? <laughs> yeah. And I told them, you know, we can use the word fix, right. but ultimately hackers are always active and risk are already present. So with that said, we, we as a people has to focus cybersecurity to a level where we increase protection and lower risk. Yeah. That's, that's how we become successful in the industry. Yeah. Cause it's one of those unique areas of uh, the world we live in today that it's cybersecurity is not quote fixable, right? It's manageable. Right. right. And much like uh, it's not a one and done, right? Okay. We checked that off our list, you know, like ordering uh, business cards. Once you order those, you don't need to like uh, revisit that on a regular basis, right? Uh, or once you build out your building, the four walls, you're not rebuilding the building every week, but on cybersecurity, it's an ongoing process. And I'll use, I like analogies, as you know. So I use the analogy of going to the gym. You just don't go to the gym and be like, okay, I went to the gym, I worked out, I'm good to go for the rest of my life. That's a process, right? Just like cybersecurity. It's a process that you have to stay on top of that game, right? Get some foundation principles in place, which is uh, 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 most of these principles you found in your book, right? But you, you, I see you're ready to write on the, here, here, yeah, ready to talk on this. Here's kind of one of the, one of the ways I want to shape this conversation. Okay. Is that when you fix something, it's usually something that's in a constant state. Right. Right. Because we go back yep. to think about physics and that when something is in a constant state, yeah. that's when that's when we have control of the situation. 
cybersecurity is a changing state. Yep. You know, you think 100%. about now, right. artificial intelligence is, yeah. <laughs> is coming around the corner. Yeah. We did a whole episode on that. Yeah. So, right. So, so when we look at cybersecurity and knowing that it's not in a constant state, right. well, guess what? You are always going to be at the leverage of trying to mature your enterprise because as you reduce certain vulnerabilities on your enterprise and let's say your score is very high. Right. But guess what? Microsoft just found a thousand more vulnerabilities. Now your score goes down. Now yeah. you have to go back and do the same right. process right. again. Yeah. Yeah. And then the system changes and you get a new CISO and he states, I do not like that cybersecurity tool. Right. I want to use that too because that's the one I've been using at all the companies that I worked at for the past 20 years. Guess what? You have to change your tools now and you have to policy tune those tools and you have to bring your tools up to compliance. Yep. And if you're in business, that's the expectation of your customers, right? right? And that's a, uh, your competition. If they're applying these principles and you're not, guess who's going to be left behind, right? So um, speaking of your book, so before we pivot to a, to a, um, another topic of today's episode, from what we talked about so far, what would be some good reference points or resources and chapters within your book? You know, I'm going to start off with chapter two, which is the growth mindset culture. Okay. All right. Organizations have to have a growth mindset culture and, and actually let their staff know that we are always in the business of cybersecurity. And you can never, ever assume that was safe. See, see, this goes back to combat warfare. When you have a commander that is carrying his troops over the horizon, and he can never ever assume that 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 he's safe. But just because you don't see the enemy, that doesn't necessarily mean you're safe. Right. So when we take that same concept and mirror that into the world of of cybersecurity and knowing that the growth mindset culture is used, we are merely talking about something I stated before, just because you have not had a negative event and just because you have not been hacked, that doesn't necessarily mean that you are safe. And also, too, when we think of growth, we are thinking about how can we take cybersecurity to the next level because technology changes. Now, speaking of technology, and I'm going to skip here for a second. Okay. It's that when you think of digital modernization, which is in chapter 17, is that organizations have to modernize because technology changes. Right. (laughs) So when you modernize your culture, then you have to grow because artificial intelligence is sitting around the corner and artificial intelligence is driving at 100 miles per hour now. Right. Right. So. So you have to think digital modernization. One of the other chapters, too, is risk, discovery, and opportunity. So, What chapter is that in? So, so that's chapter 12. Okay. But also, too, I want to make note is that one of my fourth articles that I wrote called uh, Transforming Cyber Risk into Rewards, yeah. aligns to this chapter. Because the conversation is about every time that we find risk, we are always thinking that it's a negative, right? Exactly. Negative occurrence. You're always in defense mode, uh, reactive, uh, and y- y- there's. Um, but, but, but continue on because I like where you're going with this. Yeah. Okay, but but it's an opportunity yeah. for success. Now, I want to put this out to my audience, and this is a disclaimer. I'm not here to say that we should hope for risk to occur, but when risks do occur. Our job is to mitigate those risks, but at the same time, we have to look for ways to improve the process. And when you have risks, risks that occur, this is your opportunity to drive success and to grow. Because if you had an enterprise where you never really had any issues, Uh and then one day you have an issue, and you may not know how to react. Right, right. (laughs) You're not prepared. No, no, you're not prepared. So, so... So for chapter 12, risk, discovery, and opportunities. But you know what happens is that a lot of people that work in organizations are very hesitant about talking about risk because because they feel that they would be terminated, right? Yeah. It's it's a proverbial, uh, 
you know, putting your head in the sand situation. We'll just ignore it and maybe it won't happen, right? We'll just cross our fingers and cross our legs and hope for the best. But I, I, I love this, this, this premise of, because a lot of the conversation, to be honest, when we're talking about cybersecurity is w- what's your vulnerability? Where's your risk? Um, what's, what's worst case scenario? The whole nine yards. But I like where you, you pivot there. And because if you're, you got to focus on the risk and you're, you think about how much, money could we lose or how much opportunity could we lose or how much damage can be happen to our company. But if you think about it, if we take those actions and we, you know, we, uh, we have that risk, you know, mindset or the security mindset that could, the reward can be, we can grow our organization. We can, we can profit. We can become more successful. We can, um, expand with confidence and going back to chapter two, I like those choice of these specific three words, uh, very strategically thought out because you think in terms of cybersecurity culture, Right, we talked about that, and that um, you know, w- w- in terms of what your organization take on an approach to cybersecurity, but it's also the mindset. But also, when you mentioned growth, it's like how are you going to grow? Okay, you've established you had one meeting. Okay, so it's the proverbial like, okay, we we had remember we put that on the calendar two years ago to talk about cybersecurity. So check that off the list. We had that meeting, but the operative word here is growth. That you need to. It's a continual. It's an ebb and flow, right? continue to grow um, your cybersecurity mindset well, and actions. Well, you know, the opposite of the growth mindset is the fixed mindset. Yeah, right. right? Yeah. So, right. so like in that same chapter, I talk about having the fixed mindset, the fixed mindset because it's based on our intelligence. It's saying that I have not been hacked. I don't care. And I know I'm doing good. But you can never become comfortable because if we go back and look at Many of the wars and look at uh, combat warfare, none of the military commanders ever got comfortable because you don't see the enemy. <laughs> that right. doesn't never say to me you're safe. Now, now also, too, I want to bring up, it's talking about Chapter 18, which is modernizing the workforce. This is the way that you can mature cybersecurity for your enterprise because if you think about the workforce, you need capable people to get the job done. If you don't have the skill sets in place, how can you mature cybersecurity for your enterprise? Because when you mature cybersecurity for your enterprise, that actually means that you're bringing on brand new technologies. And when you bring on these new technologies, then you need the skill sets to manage those technologies. So it makes smart to modernize the workforce. But but my feature Forbes article, which was just posted today, yeah talks about how to build a top-tier cybersecurity team. And in that article, I spoke about modernizing a workforce. But one of the other areas that I want to bring up to, if you want to mature your cybersecurity for your enterprise and you want to look at your workforce, is that you have to practice fundamental security. Fundamental security are those basics. Just like in the previous podcast episode, when we talk about redness, redness and looking at cyber hygiene, those are fundamentals. Yeah. The core. You, the core. Because you can never remove yourself away from the fundamentals. Yeah. If you don't have that foundation, um, you're just asking for a situation that you don't need. Speaking of what we were just talking about, so uh, my mind was rolling here. And uh, what do you think about this this premise? So it's the, it's the idea of the risk and reward. Um and being proactive, you talk a lot about that. So an analogy I came up with is thinking in terms of like, are you as a person with your house or your business with your office or building, are you just waiting for the fire to happen? And then you're going to go buy a fire extinguisher versus, right? Are you building your structure from the ground up to make it fireproof? Yeah. Well, right? you, gotta, well you know what? You want to build it to yeah. become fireproof. Right. But you know what? Eventually, if you make changes to that home, <laughs> <laughs> exactly, yeah. you build on. Yeah, you've got to you've got to prior proof that as well. Okay, so um, so again, you're listening to uh, Rich Casanova here alongside Dwayne Hart, and we're talking. Uh, this is the mastering the cybersecurity mindset part two, and um, this topic is maturing the cybersecurity. Uh, for your enterprise. So we've re- referenced a number of um, of these topics within the book, and you can check the book out, the podcast, his Forbes article, 
all of this good stuff, um, if this is on your organization's shortlist, at DwayneHart.com. Okay, so let's pivot to a new topic. Let's talk about increasing the protection and lowering risk. All right, here goes the way. What's some action steps here? What I bring that in as a fundamental practice, because as we stated before, risk risk is always active. Mm -hmm. Okay, so so we know that. Right. Now, now we can't let risk outperform our protection state. Right. So when so when we look at the world of cybersecurity, we always trying trying to increase protection yep. and to lower risk because the farther you move up the ladder and have protection, that is the lower your risk state. You know, it's kind of like a meter gauge. All right? right. Let's say for instance, if I had green green to the left, right. which is which is my protection, right. and I had red to the right, which which was my risk state. Yeah. We want to be as far as possible to the left. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> that's our that's our goal. Yeah. Is to move to the left in that green state as possible. Now, yeah. now when we achieve that goal, that's when we mature cybersecurity because cybersecurity means that we have fine ways to protect our enterprises. Yeah. And when you find ways to protect those enterprises and as you increase that protection, that's when cybersecurity maturity starts to develop. Yeah. And as and there's a lot of organizations that are just not mature because right. they're in the red. Yeah. Or or they you know, or or let's just say that they're growing because if you know, when they first started, they were yeah. probably they were probably in the red, then they eventually keep going on to the left. Get close to like yellowish. Yellowish, whatever, right? <laughs> right, right. And and they got stagnant because yeah. they say, oh, well, I don't see no red no more. So Yeah, you know nothing's what? happened, so we Nothing must be good. Happening. Yeah, so yeah. we can stop now. <laughs> right, right. This is the failure <laughs> of the growth mindset. mindset. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Rich is now the cybersecurity dude. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I may not be coming out with a book, but uh, if you see me on the street corner, I can answer a few questions for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then I, for the rest of it, I'll say check out DwayneHart.com. Okay. So uh, what else is on your short list? We talk, what about this? Um, you have an acronym here, uh, CMMI, the Capability Maturity Model in- Integration. Well, that sounds like a something people should be aware of at the very least, yeah. Well, well, you know what? Um, there are there are different models out there to help organizations understand how they can mature the cybersecurity program. CMMI, they are designed to help you move through certain certain phases, right? Okay. Okay. So so I'm not going to go deep into all the phases of uh, CMMI, right? But, but also, too, um, I want to make notice that that it's certain phases in this model. So it would be akin to like in business KPI measurements with your yes. key performance indicators? Yeah. yeah. Right? So it gives you a dashboard or a visual of where we, now that you have these, these practices in place, let's evaluate where do we stand in each of these categories? Yes. You know, however you decide to rank it. Right? Well, well, in order to achieve that CMMI level, you always have to have have like an independent assessor that comes yeah, in. Yeah, come somebody to come in and audit. Audits, yeah. okay. audits, audit your program. Right. Because if most organizations could audit themselves, then they yeah. would probably get themselves a high <laughs> <Right>. score. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Or um, they would they would be unaware of blind spots, like we talked about in, in episode uh, part part one, right? right? So if you're you're too close to the situation, if, mm-hmm. you're, if you think you're going to be uh, – just monitoring everything within the organization. When you bring out a, a, um, another set of eyes, right, uh, an auditor, for example, they're going to see those blind spots that you didn't that were right in front of you. Didn't you didn't realize? Cybersecurity maturity is very important. Now, I always like to put users in the middle of this because yeah. users have a res- have a responsibility to to the to the businesses, and the businesses have a responsibility to the to the government. So. So when we look at cybersecurity and, you know, and like thinking about the growth mindset culture, then then that culture is always falling on the users, the businesses, and the government. Right. So, you know, you know, because most people would actually look at cybersecurity as a business concern. Yeah, right? Exactly, yeah. So we really have to think about 
uh, individuals and individual have to think about their own level of responsibility to cybersecurity because you work for corporations. Right. And what you do can help us help an organization try to mature to that next level. Yeah. So, so I just wanted to bring it up so that readers can understand that because, because, you know, we always have that conversation. And I said again, is that cybersecurity is a business concern, which is, which is true. Right. But, but at the same note, users, and individual responsibility. I mean, yeah, because we're, we're in a business uh, environment here, uh-huh. so a lot of times we reference that. But in previous episodes and throughout your book, you talk about other types of organizations, from medical to uh, just families, individuals, to nonprofits, to you know, religious organizations, what what have what uh, may have you. So, okay, so we're we're officially out of time here. I hear the knock at the door, and so that <laughs> not the cybersecurity knock, but um, so uh, as we kind of close out, go go ahead and recap one more time. Just hit uh, our listeners one more time with the chapters we referenced in this uh, episode, and a quick snapshot of um, in. Th- 10 seconds or less on each chapter yeah, that we referenced. Okay. All right, then. Well, you need to go to chapter two and also reference the growth mindset culture. Then also, too, you can move into chapter 12 and look at risks, risk discovery and opportunities. And you just remember that uh, when we have risks, that kind of give us the opportunity to find success. Chapter 17 is talking about digital modernization without system change. And looking at the cybersecurity workforce, which is also in Chapter 18. Now, now once we achieve that level and, like, once we can really find out how to mature the enterprise, that's when we as individuals that work in the cybersecurity industry and, and all other genre of people have to understand how to connect cybersecurity and in hopes that we can find efficient ways to protect sy- systems, because which is the which is the discussion for our next ep- episode is trying to connect cybersecurity protection strategies, and I think that is the ultimate goal of what what we try to do. Yep, and there there's your teaser, there's your hook. So stay tuned for that episode coming up soon uh, to a set of ears nearby you. <laughs> <laughs> right. on your podcast platform. Again, Rich Casting over here for Dwayne Hart. Uh, check out uh, everything we talked about, the book, um, his four articles, speaker, podcaster, DwayneHart.com. We'll see you next time.